Hey all, and welcome back to the HFC playthrough of Deltarune. We've come to what I assume is the end game of Chapter 1, the Card Castle, and uh, here there be switch ports slow down and whatnot, so uh, please do not yell at me, for I am just a mere commentator. Yeah, you know, the Switch, at the end of the day, it is one of the weaker consoles that this would be on, so you do get frame drops, even if you're like, hey, why does this game have frame drops? It's like, it's, it's, programming's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just watched a, a not-so-great episode of Doctor Who, so uh, combine that with a bunch of, like, technical issues and whatnot, and I'm already not really in the uh, highest of spirits, but whatever, you know, I'm going to pacify this dude. And Susie's got a compliment, which is going to be a sight to see what treasures are in store. <laughs> what good can I say about someone trying to kill us? Ah, oh, Susie, if you're stuck, why not try saying something you wish someone say to you? I don't think you'll go to jail one day. You are on banish. <laughs> okay, didn't see that coming. I don't think I've explored this uh, dialogue tree before. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lagging, stuttery pacify. I wonder what the sandwich day incident is. Oh, Jesus. Too many, I would assume. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where you say free samples, and then you have the one person that goes and takes them all. Right, you're out of there. I am reacclimatized. We ended on 64 tension points as well. It's a good day to be an end, Tom. Now, all we got waiting for us down here. Oh, this is <laughs> out of the castle. Well, eggs on my face. Oh no, he's back. Run. Yeah, swooshed away. Elevator to top floor. Currently stuck at the top until someone rides it down. Good. Please go away. I don't want to fight you again, Daddy. Yeah, because we came up from the dungeon. It's all coming back to me now. Rundin's room. Yes, that's a door. Oh, thank you. I couldn't tell. I, I like to believe that that was put there because, you know, Toby sent it to his testers and they didn't know it was a door. <laughs> it happens, you know. Hey, it's you. You're that peaceful lightner. Whoa, you even tamed the beast that was tormenting us. Beast? What beast? Oh, you even taught the beast to talk. Here, have a Choco Diamond. You got the Choco Diamond. I wish everyone I knew gave me, you know, chocolate for similes of them. <laughs> Normal everyday riches acquired from a legitimate source. Mm hmm. Looks like a family photograph. Blessed. Alright, just continue our passage up. Oh man, we have trials. Let's see if I can best them. I'm good at this. Don't forget, it's only your heart that takes damage, so you can skim with your body all you like. Yeah, nice again, reference to Toho, where the only pixel that actually hurts you is the singular one in the middle of your body. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Who's there? Gahahaha, <laughs> doused fools. It is he. I am Rules Card, thou greatest adversary. It took me so long to realize the pun in his name. I had to have it told to me. Yeah, same. I called him Rooksall's Card to begin with. I mean, I, and I, I speak French. I know French, you know, the X never makes a sound. But even when I say his name properly, it I you because you always forget about the rules card. The card with the rules for the game on it. And this God. is the funniest thing in the game to me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and off he goes. The hardest puzzle known to mankind. Oh, it's so funny. Just the delay. You can hear him take the breath. Yeah, uh not really that much of the game left, honestly. Ooh, some half is here. Let's see what you've got. I desire many points. These aren't just halfies. These are now the head halfies. Ooh, cross flirt. Gonna defend here, and Susie is gonna flirt with them. Do I look like a monster girl who flirts? And hell no. Oh, Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. Fucking blown out. Are you sure? It's okay, Susie. I don't know either. 
I'll show you. Watch this. Ahem. So, uh... Come here... often? Have you felt awkward and left? <laughs> oh boy, get back here and let me flirt with you. I mean, it still accomplished our direct goal of, you know, getting them away. <laughs> Yeah, alright, uh... Do X flirt again, show no emotion at all. I mean, it gets rid of him, it, hey, it saves us from even having to spare them. I think Ralph say will have... He's got the natural charm of a fluffy goat boy. They have hair? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Felt awkward and left. All that's left is Chris, and he doesn't talk, so we're fucked. Some people would say you can flirt with just a look. Where are we going? This way? Oh, try to confuse me with a diagonal. Not today, fuckos. The <laughs> mind is an enigma. You flirted with head happy. It was highly effective. Oh shit, I'm the best. All you gotta do is give that point and that smirk, and man. You got him better than anything words can say. Alright, what we got going up here? Oh, it's more of these lads. Not this time. I'm controlling with the best of them. Scissor dancers. Because they're meant to be scissors. Oh, of course. Took me till now to figure that out. Thank you, Wikipedia. Hello, it's me again. Gahaha. <laughs> I like his One Piece laugh. Yeah, it's great. Those guys really think that was all I had? Wrong! It's time for you to feel my real power. Behold! My ultimate puzzle! How about you? Uh, I'm just... I'm so tired, Tanner. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Gullible worms! That wasn't... <laughs> really, my ultimate puzzle. I have a waist better one, right? Yeah! <laughs> Can we see it? No. <laughs> that was some fucking steamed hams energy. Man, just having a character say no as they warp off screen continues to be hilarious. Oh, hey guys. Yo, it's fucking bumping in here. Dancing party soundtrack. Nice. What does DPS stand for originally, Tanner? Uh, damage per second. Very good. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet, haha! -ha! Which we don't even have. I mean, you're a cat. A toilet's anywhere that has a litter box, or sand, really. Aw, oh, what a shame. Why are there trees here? It's a tree for parties. Ah, part trees. Not bad, actually. I give that a 6 out of 10. Oh no! <laughs> we could have saved that cake. In fact, we did save that cake. Club's music. Ha 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 ha, I'm not even gonna look at the basketballs. I get it now. Ha. Ha ha! You do. And that's the funniest thing of all. That was a very fast five floors. It sure was. Ooh, what have we got in the shop? Oh, it's this fucker. Alright, let's have a talk. I am the Duke of Puzzles, rules card. My hobbies include calligraphy, law keeping, bookkeeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Artist thou one of my admirers, Worm. God, I'm so tired. Alright, why would you sell to us? I mean, money's money. So I might amass your funds, worms, an army of funds, so that I may crush us thou like fermented grapes into a most delicious ad adult beverage. Vengeance. <laughs> oh, how I amused myself. I see a lot of myself in rules card, and I'm beginning to realize I might need to make some changes. There's worms in a fucking glass. <laughs> I love his little worms. Our Lord King art a cruel and terrifying monarch. That hurt my throat to say. However, he is also brilliant, for he decided to appoint me as Duke of Puzzles. That one was surprisingly not hard to say. After pretty much if any of 
Let me back up here. Yeah, I know you're laughing, rules card. You talk like a fucking... <sighs> After pretty much if everyone else was fired off or placed inside a cage. There we go. Truly a benevolent ruler. And what about the king's son? Tell us about the bouncy boy. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He has always asked me the worst queries and called me his lesser dad. Our relation is none, you little water beetle. I placate you for your father's sake. I do not wish to hear your MP freeze. I'd rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he, anyhow? Ah, oh, there's love there, even if he won't admit it. It's it's a real stepdad situation. Ooh, a heroic and cool thing. I will buy this. Yeah, now that we got the money, we might as well. Uh, we got an amber card. Got one of those. A uh, couple of these, I guess. The dainty scarf is interesting, because while it does give attack down, it does give his magic up quite a bit. So if you're going more for a magic build for your, you know, your Ralph say, which is funny to, to talk about, because what build? The game is barely out. But if you are, you could go with it. Nice to see you in the dungeon. There is obviously a dungeon. We came from it. There's a lower floor to that, which we may end up seeing in a future part, but we're not doing it right now. So don't worry. I'm intentionally living it out. I haven't, like, glanced over it or anything. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's quite tricky down there. So that might uh, <laughs> that might be a stream thing, if anything, because, uh, oh boy, who knows how long that took. It took me a long time. It sure did. I watched you, Tanner. I watched you suffer. And that was with it cut out. Is this Lance's room? Aw. Oh. Yeah. I think you can examine his holes. I don't like that I said that, but it's true. A bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. Aw. Oh. It's a hole, presumably dug for fun. It's a hole made recreationally. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. I love that reference. The salsa buried in the ground here. He loves his salsa. It's some kind of digging implement. I think it's called a spade. Might be. Did you get the joke with the uh, the bicycle? I did not. Uh, the most common company that makes playing cards is called Bicycle. Oh, right. Enough, worms. Oh, here he comes, Big Dick McGee. Thou may have cheetah through my puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with... Oh no. Whatever this is. Its crown looks different. That's exactly the same, Ralsei. Eh? Control crown, by God. Got a few wires in there, you know, you can't really see it, but it's whispering sweet nothings to him. It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same, Ralsei! The control crowd is painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel a relief when it sees how much more pain they'll be in. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> here it comes again. This game is just beating me to it. Susie's idea. Susie, you want to act? Oh, what's your idea? Uh, but how do I say this? <laughs> you ever play uh, Mario RPG? Oh, interesting. I'll help. You want to apologize for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get that crowd off its head somehow. Oh, interesting. Determine the angle. Booyah, baby. I love the Mario Golf double aiming system. <laughs> it's great, yeah. Well, thankfully, we fought this guy before, so uh, it's not too big of a deal. Alright, we'll put that up there. I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot about this encounter. Oh, yeah, no, me too. Ah, greatly loosened, very nice. No! The fancy footwork of yore. <laughs> You're giving us the old razzle dazzle. Make sure it's pointing up, and then... Ba bang Yeah, greatly loosened, baby. Not today, fucko. Ooh, 
nice schmovement. I have learned. I have become wiser. That was that was wrong. That was wrong, Tom. That's all right. It should still give you enough, I think. Yeah. Hey, the schmovement was incorrect, but the results speak for themselves. He's so mad. <laughs> Seething, molding. Why brilliant? Just brilliant. I knew you could do it, thou great heroes, thou. Thou see if that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I, personally, could not be less of an obstruction. Uh. Look me with you, heroes. <laughs> I, you know, it's like when I'm watching a football game and we're losing, so I just decide, you know what? I cheer for the other team now, and now I'm, hey, now I'm happy. I'm winning. Boy, this seems a familiar sight. Yeah, for sure. It's almost like the end of another game. Can I spell it out anymore? It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Ah, uh, desperate struggle. Interesting. This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. It's one of my favorite gaming trailers. <laughs> hey, there's Lancer. Right, it could be a beach, but now it's Lancer. I love the single pixel that's left on the battlefield. No! <laughs> Dance of my son. Have you just... I don't know what voice to go for this guy, so whatever. Hmst. <laughs> what is my son saying to me right now? What a good boy. He just wants friends. I'm sure this will not end up causing a rift between this relationship. Oh no. Yeah, Susie is very purple and strong. Where are they now? Um... Actually, behind me. Hey. <laughs> They're standing right on the stray pixel. Why'd you have to say that, Tani? You know I have problems with that sort of thing. It's the best because it's intentional at this point. It's on every boss arena. Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They do not care for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. Look at it! You see it there, undulating. They are scum. I'd say we're like, at least pond scum, you know? We're, we're At least we're good for the environment. Best be putting him down before I put this axe twiver your head. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Wait, but ha hasn't it been established that he bounces? <laughs> shh, shh. He, we don't know that yet. <laughs> to, don't listen to him, Susie. I, I, I bounce. It's, it's a meaningless threat. I bounce, but the noise is very embarrassing, so I'd rather it not happen. Nah, mate. I have that power too, or did you forget Daddykins? <laughs> right, enough of this shit. Let's go boss time now. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? I'm the bad guy! So yes, we have the king here. How are we going to dispatch of him, Tana? Well, there's two different ways to go about it. You can talk to him, and uh, I mean, that's how you can do it. But also, you can fight him. And the game makes it clear that that's fine in this instance, because it's part of the story. I think you have to survive like 15 turns of like peacefulness, so uh, let's see how well I do. I'm stocked up on healing items, so we, we probably should, like, die at any point. Ooh, talk became dual heal. Very nice. I just beat him up because the game basically says, hey, you can fight him, and so I was like, okay! Very good, very good. Uh, let's talk with Susie this time. 
Yeah, Susie's got to have some choice words for sure. All right, listen up. Lance is my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Oh, this is a great boss theme. Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. Oh, I love that name. You that left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. I actually love this attack. It feels really good when you get the timing just perfect, like so. Ah, yes. You just have to do a little bit of a uh, clock motion there. Let's talk with Chris and, uh... Hmm, what we got here? Ooh, Rude Buster. Why the hell not? You know? Might as well try. And... defend. You tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. It's me, the Lightbringer. <laughs> Throw him out of here, don't give him his cloak. <laughs> By the knight's will, I will shatter your heart to pieces. Very important, keep that knight in mind. Talk became courage. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Toby Fox. Oh. Ouch. Well, that's what uh, Dual Heal is for, I suppose. Yep, yep, and the nice thing about the act is that, uh, you know, it tells you exactly what you need to use for them, so it gives you how much uh, TP you need, and if you double defend, you can get a lot TP back each turn. Yeah, be gone! We have found fresh purpose. Oh, this is a tricky one. You gotta go with the flow, you know how bad I am at adapting. It's literally the uh, DVD player icon, which I love. Defense boost. <laughs> the battlefield is rumbling, that's so cool. Uh, heal prayer, and let's do that to Chris. Booyah, baby. For the knight has appeared. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot about this knight, it's uh quite the important character. Oh, come on, Tom, don't lose it now. Thankfully, wow, that uh, defense up really ups your defense. Sure does. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, like, keep defending. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No. No. Just follow the hearts up. Down these diagonals, always giving me the, the business. I do love how this battle really uses the idea of the chain in every way possible with the gameplay. Mm hmm. Our world. Oh, here we go. Oh, sweet Jiminy Jesus. They always trick me with their different angles. No, <laughs> the diagonals continue their assault. Oh, these butterflies are trying to confuse me. Do you see now a new purpose? I don't think he's realized that I'm just kind of stalling here. I'm not really attacking him at all, apart from that one rude buster. Yeah, we just wanted to use the, you know, the namesake of the, the main theme for the, the game. Yeah, Chop Diamond, why not? Yeah, I mean, we're in the, in the castle, gotta use up our card-based stuff. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Oh boy. Oh wait, no, this one's easy. Yeah. It's mouse babble inconceivably. That's not the word, Tom, but whatever, you tried. Whatever. <laughs> Go with another one, why not? Yeah, why not? It's just cool to do. Yeah, your soul shined its power on Susie. Eat it! Then, you may see what it's like to live in despair. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my god, oh! Remember the twirlies, Tom! You have forgotten your twirliness! Okay, now we need some strong healing. Yeah, that's what that dual heal there is for. Yeah. Very nice. I mean, it should be try heal, but that's fine. Okay, this one's the- oh my god. Oh my sweet Jesus. 
Yeah, this one adds little nodes that you can't hit. They don't go after you, but this is this is his toughest attack. I am H O. Oh jeez. Okay, defense boost there. Uh, I think we're good on health for now. You're quite strong, aren't you? <laughs> we can take a beating. Think ahead, Tom. Think ahead, please. Ah! I can't think ahead! Okay, dual heal going and keep defending. I will not strike ye down, good sir. We'll hit you a few times just to, like, show how cool we are, but that's it. Ah. Well, I got a lot of nicks from that one, but it's all good. Must be nearing the end of the battle by now. Look at look at him, he's getting tired. Oh, he sure is. Remember, Tom. Damn you, Tom! The twirls. The twirls are what I needed. My knight, I shall not fail you. Usually the knight is the one in employment of the king, not the other way around. Very interesting. Hey, we did it. Head off. Is enough. Oh, poor little hamster face. Oh, I'm so tired. I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Also, my voice has changed because the person talking for me is a fucking hack. <laughs> it's okay. Not everyone's up to the the voice acting. Yes, for Mr. Reed's visual novels for his channel. Hours and hours. Oh, Jesus. Any, everything for Saber. <laughs> everything for her? Speaking of knights and kings. Hey, where darkness, they lived in harmony with lightness. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. My tummy hurts. It's so great that he's seemingly turning a new leaf. Come on, Susie, put the axe away. It's almost like Susie is hesitant because she knows when people potentially are hiding what they actually feel. Oh, no. She can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Just as long as you don't bring up the economy. No. That sounds lovely. Cough. My apologies. I am... I'm not used to fighting like that. It's okay, I've got this froze senzu bean. I was literally gonna say it's Goku with the senzu bean. <laughs> there you go, you should be all healed up. Thank you, Ralsei, I shall take this bean and eat it. Mmm, munch munch. There we go, <laughs> back to fighting fit form. <laughs> Why didn't you do that during the battle? That was lethal as hell. Yeah, that was like, that's a real good technique. Where'd that shield come from? Actually, it, go, it uh, happens every time you defend with him. Oh, I'm fucking blind. It's okay, you normally don't look at their animations because you're usually like, you know, avoiding the attacks. No, the hamster's coming towards me. You're the leader, aren't you? I mean, we're the blue-haired lord, it's usually how it goes. You mentioned the knight earlier, it's funny that we haven't seen any of the other card kings, or potential card queens, either. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off! Hey. Get away from my friend. Character arc complete! I'm so happy this character arc is completed in the first game, because I hate when they extend it out for so long. So what's your plan then, Monster Girl? To talk me to death? Actually, I'm just going to stay away and pepper you with rude busters. You stupid, stupid light no of your stupid light the cloves and axe. I hate you. <laughs> Who 
Oops. Oh, well, the people we helped. Fun fact, those little dudes at the bottom, those are unused enemies. Toby took them out because, quote, their bullet patterns sucked ass. Ah, well, a fine reason to take enemies out. <laughs> King Lancer Ark, go! So this is uh, actually one of two ways that this can go. This is the pacifist way. If you did kill an enemy, or Susie accidentally did, uh, there's actually a whole other thing that happens. Doesn't he fall asleep? Like, you think he's dead, but no, he's just sleeping. What happens is, is he got tired in battle, so Ralsei casts his pacify. Yeah, it's fine. It all worked out in the end, buddy. Yeah, just don't don't do it when we reach the final boss, please, for the love of God. So this is kind of you know again. This is the end of chapter one, and this is where Toby is kind of saying the message of, "Hey, this isn't like Undertale. There's times where you can't talk it out, and you do need to fight." But I could have done that whole battle without fighting. Yeah, you could have, but it's a, it's much faster to fight him. I think it's just I think it's just a case of saying like some people were actually kind of against that idea of saying oh you could you know talk it out with whoever and you should never fight as a theme of Undertale they were kind of against that so this is him saying like no there are times where fighting is uh, viable if not the better choice. Well, uh, see ya. Huh? Chris, you wanna... go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Heh, <laughs> well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go! I don't think I actually did this. <laughs> I think I just left the boy. We're on, like, a victory lap, shall we say. I'm not going to talk to every single individual, but maybe we'll go visit a certain someone. And I will show you just how unprepared I am for that certain someone, and why we will might be doing it later, or not at all. I haven't decided yet. Not talking to you, not talking to you. So, uh, fun fact, those, car those blocks up there... Uh, the two blocks are either B and O, and because of the shape of them, they're spelling out the word boob. Ah, I see. That's a very Toby Fox thing to do. Oh yeah, just put in a one little boob joke. What ho? What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Oh, there's the other kings. Yeah, they were, they're actually down in the uh, one of the basement areas, I think, when you're escaping there. As animals decided, it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Mamma Amoeba, what a celebration, everyone is here! Oh, whoa, Smash reference! Clover's birth, such a sweet occasion, I might cry. <laughs> Mona Amiga, that's not Italian at all! Always go along with things for free cake. It's how I've lived my life. It's how I'll continue to live my life, even when they take my feet. <laughs> we were, but then we decided to double back because Toby Fox is a madman and programs more dialogue that you can potentially miss. He's the type of guy to intentionally program dialogue that never is possible to be seen, unless you're one of those game code freaks. First, lightness are now legal. Very good. Second, prison is only for dads. Could cause problems. Yeah, it's kind of like an eldritch being unto itself. Shut it off for all I care. Yeah, it's a little beyond his thinking capacity to think about what happens with that. 
All that remains in my mind is salsa and dreams of future salsa. Yeah. Oh, hey. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Can I, can I go? Oh. Interesting. I think we might have to reload a save and if we're going to do that when we come back to it later on. <laughs> okay, we'll do just that then. Well, folks, that was basically Chris and Susie's first adventure along with Rousey, but uh, it's done now, so let's close up this fountain in GTFO. I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, uh, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? Can barely hear you, dude. Also, why have your hands turned white? Oh, I'm sorry. Banan! I'm a goat! Interesting. You look about the same age as Chris, if not a bit younger, which raises a number of questions. For sure. And, of course, anyone who's played uh, Undertale all the way through will look at this character and go, What? Huh? Wait? Whoa? I mean, his name is Rause, which is an anagram of Azrael. They weren't exactly hiding it. I was just surprised they revealed it so soon. But again, much like the character development, I'm happy they got it out of the way. Ooh, fancy graphics. It's our job to seal the fountains, but we have no idea what will be left behind. This future is uncertain and ever-changing. See, all I see when I look at this is it looks like Chris is going to do the quiz to determine what Pokémon he is in Mystery Dungeon. Oh my god, you're not wrong. We s stumbled into some kind of Undertale. <laughs> Well, there's no time to think about that now. Don't know why she turned country for a second there. I should really pass out my words more efficiently. Yep, time to go home, Chris. So, do whatever it is you're planning to, I suppose. Yeah, you, you apparently know what to do, so do it. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if... Your very soul was glowing.